I've been up there, it's quite overgrown. I've been up there before. I'm just heading into the golf course from the bottom entrance. Um, yeah, so it's just a main road there and then we're onto the golf course. So we're gonna head up that way. Oh, it's lovely and sunny today. Yeah, I've already been out for about an hour. Um, I've been to uh, the Lidl near us, um, which is a bit of a walk. So I've been out for about an hour, uh, getting down here and doing my shop in there. I've got my backpack with me. So yeah, I've loaded it up in there. Um, could have spent a fortune in Lidl. It's a good job I didn't come in the car. Um, but they didn't have everything that I needed, so I'm gonna head that way, which will take me home past the uh, Tesco, so I can nip in there um, and get the last few bits. Yeah, so I thought I'd combine my walk with a bit of shopping this morning, seeing as it's such a beautiful, beautiful day. It's very spring-like, a um, little bit of a nip in the air, but oh, I don't have to do your good to get out and some sh get some sunshine on your face. Right, I shall see you when I get home. See you later. Hey up, I am just having a cup of coffee and I've sat down for five minutes. Um, I've decided I'm going to go and sort out my eBay shed, which is in a right state at the minute. I haven't really spent any time down there recently. Um, I know there's a mountain of cardboard boxes that have just been thrown in one corner. Um, and also, I've got a massive death pile down there that I need to go through. Um, there's going to be some decent stuff in there, I know there is. But a lot of it I will not be listing on eBay. And my plan is to take it back to the car boot and sell it on let somebody else um, make some profit on it. Um, I've got no problem doing that. I don't spend a lot of money when I'm buying stock, so I can afford to do that. Uh, just take it back. I'll still make profit on it, um, but obviously not as much as if I could be bothered to list it on eBay. But if I haven't listed it over lockdown, there's no way I'm going to suddenly get the urge to list it. Um, obviously, there will be a few bits in there that I'll put to one side. But yeah, most of it is going to go back to the car boot and we're going to start with a clean slate, I think. Yeah, so that's my plan. We'll see how it goes. See you in a bit. Uh, it's worse than I remembered. <laughs> I normally come in and my, li my listed stuff, because I haven't got many things in my shop. My listed stuff are in these boxes, those drawers, and I've got a couple of uh, shelving units here. This is in the main door. So I kind of ignore this bit, but there's my boxes, bubble wrap, shelving over there has all got packaging on. There's a couple of big empty boxes there, but all that back there under those curtains. Now this is that's about as tall as me, that pile. Those boxes there, there. It's all unlisted stock, so yeah, this is a bigger job than I uh, thought it was going to be. There's all sorts. There's bags and bags and boxes and boxes and boxes of it. Right, I shall see you in a bit. Right, it's not perfect, but I'm not going through it anymore. I've uh, put all the boxes on that side. Let me stand back so you can see a bit better. Move out of the way when, it, when he's back. Yes, yeah, so I've got a mountain of boxes hiding behind that set of, set of shelving there. I've just shoved them all out of the way. Um, I have been through quite a few of these bags. A lot of it is clothing and shoes and little bits of bric-a-brac, that sort of thing, telephones. Um, yeah, but what I've decided to do is, when I do do the car boot, is just to grab a couple of boxes um, to top my car up and then go through it as I'm doing it. I've got more space in here now. Um, so yeah, it's it's not quite organised chaos. It's still chaos. 
but it's more manageable now i know roughly what's in it yeah okay so i'm gonna leave it because i just can't be bothered to go through all of it right i'll see you in a bit also i wanted to show you these i've been having these quite a lot recently they're really quick to cook they're four and a half minutes in the microwave um and they're really low in calories they're 105 per pouch so that's for the fish and the butter sauce um really really tasty so yeah i'll show you that once it's cooked okay so that's it all put together um i'm gonna look looking forward to that i've put some nutritional yeast on there as well so in total that comes to 368 calories for the whole lot so okay see you in a bit Tonight's tea is, uh, you've seen this before, homemade kebab meat, there's loads of meat there today. Um, that is 3% mince from Aldi. Uh, I've got some French on there and I've just got like a, a salsa there. It's sweet peppers, tomatoes, cucumber and onion and uh, mixed through with mint sauce. So yeah, another one of my favourites. See you in a bit. Right, everything's in new to check. Um, that comes to 817 calories in total for what you've just seen. So, yeah, I've got 417 left um, for today. So I'm not sure what I want yet, but we'll, we'll see in a bit. OK, tonight's snack is I'm using up the jelly. So there's 300 grams of jelly there. Um, 50 grams of choc shot. I've got a different flavour one. I've got the coconut one. I've just had a little taste. It is absolutely delicious. Um, that's one of the things that I picked up from Aldi, uh, uh, from Lidl earlier. Um, and there is 50 grams of the squirty cream. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy that. I've tried to use a little bit extra than I'd normally have to get my calories uh, closer to where I like them because I can't see me having much else today so I've still got 151 calories left um, but yeah I think that will be it okay I'm going to enjoy that and I will call it a day I think for the vlog I wonder what that 35 was then it's my spoon um, yeah I shall see you all tomorrow have a lovely evening see you later